today is a double feature. And I will talk about the first Battle Royale 2000, or should I say, the original Hunger Games, because that's the same premise. But before anyone gets mad at me, I like the movie. It's very dark, greedy, nihilistic. And some of the scenes are too much. But like, it has this subtle wit when it comes to itself. And a little bit dystopian. So, do like it. I, that's all I'm gonna say, but like, it, it's really obvious. It's kind of like some similarities. And don't get me started on the second one because I kind of technically see some similarities with another franchise similar to the same thing. But hold that thought right real, real quick. I'm just going to give you the dumb version of this synopsis. So bear with me. Basically, in the near distant future, the Japanese government decided we should implement the VR Act, where basically they take 42 ninth grade students, send them to a desert island, and they basically told them, you guys need to unalive each other. By the third day, if you guys cannot unalive anyone and one person is standing, we're going to have all of you with a special caller. Spoiler alert. That's basically the synopsis for that. Honestly, the writing, the pacing, the acting was pretty spot on and pretty cool. For a 2000 film, it kind of, we're in 2023. It does um, lose me in some regards, but that's with the time that it was set in, so to speak. Other than that, I find it fascinating how this was actually based on a novel and the Japanese government ban was trying to ban the movie and the novel because of its themes. They unsuccessfully lose that route and wanted other people and wind up having other people read it and watch both things even more. Sorry that 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 caught off a bit. Um besides the point. My point is highly recommend you guys take a look at this and I personally want to read that novel. If it's a manga that would be actually kinda cool because if it's my whole narrative and I could compare and contrast those things. Besides the point, my point it still stands. When you have the chance, watch it. Now, this is probably part two of the double feature. And today we'll be reviewing Catching Fire. Just joking. It's Battle Royale 2, Rectorium. Sorry, I can't talk. Um, all I'm going to say about the second one takes place three years, so 20, uh, 2003, three years after the events of the first film. And all I'm going to say is this, the second film, for me personally, I prefer better than the first one because it it, add, it added more to the first one. It kind of added more uh, backstory, more lore, and what's going on about the main two uh, last survivors of the first film. And damn, this one was a little bit more intense than the first one, I'm going to be honest. And you, you have noticed that I haven't been posting any... Uh, clips or anything because I don't want to get, you know, flagged by, you know, 
yeah, you know. Um, but yeah, it's really intense and interesting. It adds more layers and more depth to the first film, but as a sequel to the first film, pretty good. And before you say what's the connection between Catching Fire and this one, oh, actually a lot. The main protagonist is now a freedom fighter, and then the two people I believe have a thing and yeah still kids you know you know um let me know if you saw these two and tell me what you think and also do you like the new format <laughs>